All right, guys. So, so today, what I'm showing you is another neat tool that can be used to test your security, and is another way I want to get you interested in single board computers. So this here, do you remember the Tamagotchi, the little electronic pets that you had to take care of? Well, this is the Ponagotchi. Sounds interesting, right? Well, it's at least as interesting as it sounds. Let's talk about what it can do for you and how you can get started. This is just the introductory video, but I want to go over what it's capable of. What it has running on it is a full Linux operating system. Using artificial intelligence, it can actually basically de-authenticate Wi-Fi's and it basically collects all the handshakes by running in monitor mode. So it's a pretty handy tool, you know. You take it for a walk in your own controlled setting lab, of course, with your own devices only. Um, never use something like this on anyone else's computer. Uh, because that would definitely not be legitimate. So only use this in a controlled lab setting. You can test your own Wi-Fi networks and check and see if you have de-authentication protection. Uh, of course, after collecting the handshakes, you can then try and crack with something like Hashcat, which is the authentication handshakes. Essentially, when a device logs into Wi-Fi, it creates what's called a handshake to authenticate into that Wi-Fi network. And so this actually listens for those things happening. So it'll pick up on devices that get disconnected and it'll also disconnect using artificial intelligence. But you can additionally find something called BetterCap that's actually running right on this full Linux system in here. It's called BetterCap. And I have it open on the Pine tab right now. Uh, we can go over to the Wi-Fi settings, and we can manually as well take a look at some of these Wi-Fi networks. We can also take a look and see our basic screen. This is an e-ink screen here on a Raspberry Pi Zero. And we can see all of the history here and what has happened in my personal lab that I tested it in. Then you can also find devices near you. So it's pretty interesting. It's almost like a little social network for other Ponagachis, similar to how the Tamagotchi was able to find friends near it. So you've got a variety of different plugins you can use. If you just tap on the plugins, that'll load, and it'll give you a variety of choices that you can actually upload some of those hashes from your controlled lab and it'll actually look at those online. Now, you also have the ability to upload to Wiggles database, which I've gone over in previous videos. Basically, it's a full mapping using uh, something similar to NetStumbler that actually submits Wi-Fi na network names in the area of you. So, pretty interesting tool right here. One of these can be had, one of these devices, these Pi Zeros can be had for less than 30 bucks with power cord and uh, SD card and everything you need. And from there, you can get the fully open source uh, Ponagachi. And it was actually created by Evil Socket, who actually was also the author of Open Snitch. I've had it for a couple years now, and I really want to get you guys interested in single board computers. Uh, I might do a guide on this on the blog, possibly some videos, but it is pretty intricate. There's so many different options that. Uh, it may be better suited for screenshots in the blog. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do here. So you can see down here there's a variety of different ways you can utilize this with better caps. Traditional uh, man in the middle, you have uh, proxy, uh, password sniffing, all these things are available all on this little full Linux device called a Raspberry Pi Zero. I have a few of these. I use one for a camera. I use other ones for other purposes. And there's a lot of different things you can do with this tool. It's a very interesting tool. You can hit the start Wi-Fi module by hitting the start button here. But essentially what you'll see here is different networks 
And from there, you can then click on one of them and you can decide to de-authenticate the clients from that. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to pick up the actual Wi-Fi handshakes. And as you see right there, there's a key that just popped up. That means I've already got the handshake. It's stored to a file. From there on, I can test my own Wi-Fi network and make sure the password strength is strong enough. So that is the Ponagachi. Really interesting, neat tool. It even has facial expressions. So if it's not able to get a handshake, it will cry. And of course, when it gets a handshake it'll it'll smile have sunglasses on and it'll just have one of the best days of its life as it says on it so it has a personality to it really interesting way to test your own security of course only test this on networks you have explicit permission to do so on that I can't emphasize enough uh, you do not want to be testing this on anyone else's network very important to state that here but I do enjoy testing it on my own network and checking to see if I can you know if my de-authentication protection works so that is the Ponagachi really interesting tool I wanted to introduce to you guys today and you can download that on github I'll leave a link to that in the description so that's what I have today, the introduction. It's just a basic introduction to the Ponagachi. I will be back later, and if you guys are interested, maybe I'll do some more videos and tutorials on the Ponagachi. Artificial intelligence, pen testing, interesting stuff. That's what I got. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy and Linux.